Hi, I'm Rob from Ski Press and I'm here at the Ski and Snowboard Show at Ells Court to check out what's happening this week. I've come down to the uh, Ladies Ski Club to meet up with Jack Harvard Taylor and Jasmine Taylor of the British Telemark Ski Team. Hi Jack, how's it going? Hi Rob, yeah, very good, thank you, very good. good. Hi Jasmine, hi. 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 So, uh, yeah, British Telemark Ski Team. Yeah. Uh, Telemark skiing, obviously a little bit different to Alpine skiing. Can you tell me a little bit about what Telemark yes. skiing is? Okay, so obviously Telemark's the original form of skiing. It originated in Norway. Um, in the UK, it's quite a minority sport at the moment, but uh, we're trying to sort of uh, improve its image and get a few more people involved, really. Okay, so like when, you, when you're in Telemark skis, it's only your toe that's connected to the, to the that's ski. That's right. So it's similar to cross-country skiing and Nordic skiing. Um, toes attached and heels, heels free. Um, there's lots of different options in terms of you've got racing, you've got ski touring, you've got normal sort of piece skiing. Uh, it's a pretty versatile way of getting around the mountain. Okay. And you race on the World Cup circuit, is that correct? That's right. We've got our own Fizz Telemark World Cup circuit, which goes all around, uh, all around Europe. Uh, North America, all around Scandinavia. Um, it starts in January in Rauris in Austria, just after the British Championships. Um, and it goes yeah, all over the world. So, right, okay. so Jasmine, uh, hi. Um, hi. With Telemark skiing, do you have to be a really, really good skier to, to ski Telemark? Um, no, not necessarily. To be a good Telemark skier, obviously you have to be a good Telemark skier, but um, no, you can do Telemark at any level. It doesn't okay. Does it matter? I mean, what about fitness levels? Do you have to be a little bit fitter and stronger than just skiing, normal skiing, alpine skiing? Um, I'd say you have to have a certain degree of fitness to be able to ski, but I'd say Telemark takes it out of the legs just a little bit more than normal skiing. Okay. So you were a um, bronze medalist at the World Junior Championships, is That's that right? That's correct, yes. This is my medal. Um, I'm very pretentiously wearing it today, but to try and drum up sponsorship and things with the Lady Ski Club. So, so what are your plans for this winter then? Um, another full season, training with the French team, um, British Championships in Raris in Austria in January, um, the French Cup and the World Cup circuit, as well as Junior Championships and World Championships. And looking towards, for both of you, looking towards... Olympics is that is it an Olympic sport? Any mark skiing? We're pushing for it. It's, yeah. it's not Our, at the moment. Uh, we've had a British guy, Andrew Clark, has become chairman of the Fizz Committee recently. So he's lobbying hard for inclusion into the 2018 Olympics, uh, which would be a big step forward, obviously for the sport. So that's our our aim, really. 2018. Great. All right, well, let's hope we see uh, Telemark skiing in the Olympic Games 2018 in uh, South Korea, right? That's right. That's okay, right. thanks crossed. for catching up. That's great, Thank thanks. You. Thank you.